Hi, this is Fleeting by Night, and welcome to the first edition of the Subsanian Industry for August 2010. Um, if you're not familiar with the series, or what this project is about, um, I shall explain. Uh, this, the project was the brainchild of the RA of Edward Elric, a YouTube user, um, where she buys manga each month, or anime, and at the end, she will show how much she bought, what it cost, to sort of show that she's helping the industry. And she invited people to contribute to this project. And I thought it was a great project, and I wanted to get on board, so I will be contributing each month to this web series. Alright, so the first purchase I made in August is this. Hold this a little bit. This is the Hitman Reborn character single series Die 3, Dawn 3, Horizon. And this is done by the voice actors of for Hibari and Ryohei. This is the Japanese version. Um, this was bought at yesasia.com and it was $13.49 with shipping, which is being $3.99, and so it came to $17.48. And I actually pulled up the invoice right here. There you go. Um, I bought this character single because the voice actor for Ryohei is coming um, to a convention. So I'm going to be able to get this signed. Um, and let me show you which one he is if you're not familiar with the series. He's the guy on the yellow. So there you go. All right, so the next is another plush, another purchase from Japan, excuse me. It is an awesome plushie. This is the Prussia plushie from Axis Powers Italia. Um, I bought him, but I had to get the help of a company in Japan to help me buy him. So, full of awesomeness. Um, and if you get the awesome joke, you're cool. Okay, so this is the website I had to provide the company with, and he costs 1,260 yen, which I'm assuming that's the price with tax included. So, um, I had to give the company $20, uh, so they could put the order in. And I think another 15 for shipping within Japan, uh, the wiring fee for, you know, send the money to Japan, and the, I guess, a convenience fee. And then I think I'd be paid between 15 and $18 um, for shipping from Japan to the U.S. So it cost me, I believe, 50 or $53. Um, for this, I, you know, people will probably think, oh, that's expensive. Well, the series was licensed in America, you know, both manga and the anime. We don't have the, the official goods yet. So, you know, making that purchase is helping Japan. So, hopefully they will bring us more goodies. <laughs> okay, so let me pull up my other purchase. Okay. I have to move this. This is also this is Hitalia Axis Powers, um, Volume One, the digital e manga. Uh, it's published by Tokyo Pop. It's uh, sold through Zinio.com, which is Z I N I O, and I will provide a URL in the description page. Um, it's available for PCs and Macs, so anyone who's looking to put it on their e-reader, you're out of luck, sorry. Um, the digital price is $5.99 plus sales tax. Um, I really like the series because it has a lot of historical... Uh, it's pretty much a story about history itself. Uh, a satire look at history. And... Um, would I recommend it? I would recommend it if 
you're not the type that get highly offensive, or offended, excuse me, of the idea of turning the Axis powers of World War II and the Allied powers of World War II into human personifications. Um, it's funny, it has, you know, great little stories, it's like these, like, four panel, um, strips that was started as a web manga, or web comic, excuse me, then got published in Japan, and, um, I like it, so, I paid $6.17 for that, okay, um, I don't have another thing, well, actually, I have one more thing. It's a miscellaneous purchase. And usually when I say miscellaneous in this um, video, it'll probably refer to items that I've pre-ordered or they're on back order and have not received them yet. Or it will probably refer to stuff that I can't really show on YouTube. Um, because um, even though I'm assuming we're all a bunch of adults doing this. There is going to probably be some teens, maybe the occasional, you know, 10 year old that might stumble upon this video. And instead of getting yelled at by somebody, I would rather just to play it safe. Okay, so I bought an item from, it was a manga, from Amazon.com. It was $16.47. And I didn't pay shipping because I have. Amazon's Prime membership. So, and if you're looking into Amazon Prime, it is, I think, $78 a year, and you get free shipping, free two-day two shipping on your items, regardless of how much you spend. So, I think that's a good idea if you have that money. If not, then, you know, who knows. Okay, so... That covers uh, what I bought. Um, I also have a subscription with um, Shonen Jump Magazine. And I always buy the two-year subscription, which is, I believe, $49.95 a year. Um, I'm renewed till next year. I forgot which month. Um, but what's so great about it is that you usually get the ma magazine before it goes out to the bookstores and the newsstands. So that's a good way to support the industry. Um, I also did have a subscription with Yen Press. But in August, I believe, they switched to a digital format, ending the paper publication. So... From what I gathered on the website was that they're going to offer the magazine, um, I believe, at the price of $2.99 per month. And I think you pay with PayPal. I will have to do a little research on it. Um, I think it's a pretty good uh, price for an additional, you know, an e-edition magazine. Um, however, I do want to point out that if you're looking forward to titles in this magazine like Black Butler, Pandora Hearts, um, Hero Tales, which I think is published by Square Enix, well, Square Enix decided that instead of allowing Yen Press to publish the comics, you know, the individual chapters in their e-manga, that they're going to open up their own digital store. So, if you want to read chapters of those stories or anything that was published at Yen Press, uh, you know, magazine, you have to go to squareenix.com. And the digital store isn't up yet. Um, hopefully they will. And hopefully they might give us um, a price and how much we would get in terms of content. Um... Yen Press will continue to still publish the the collected paperbacks of the manga, so that's good. And 
that's pretty much it. Um, okay, anime-wise, um, I didn't buy any anime this month. Um, because the anime that I want is coming out in September, so I will save that for that video. Um, I do watch anime. Um, I have Funimation channel through my cable provider. Well, technically it's my sister's. I'm staying with her. So, I pay her cable bill every month, so it's probably like, I don't know, $20 maybe? Um, usually... They just bunch up the premium channels and just give you a flat rate. If you were to just to go to, the, I don't know how much it would cost if if I was just to get that channel. Um, I support the anime legally through uh, Funimation's YouTube channel because it's ad supported and people are like. Well, I don't like ads in my anime. Well, how do you expect them to pay for this? Because they have to pay for licensing. That's how they do it. They put ads in their anime. Um, you can also I also support Crunchyroll. I did have a year subscription through them, but it expired, and I just haven't had time to uh, renew it, so I will renew that later. Um hopefully within the next two months. Um, I still wa use them to watch episodes, and they have ad-supported episodes as well, so it's a good place to support anime legally. Um, that's it. Um, so I want to give a big thank you to everybody who watched this, um, I'll put the total down at the at the description because I don't have a good head for math right now. So um, thank you very much and have a great day.